Hi, Graham Cox from Moody Views and uh, today we're going to do some summer trees with lots of lovely foliage using the uh, lovely new Caran d'Ache pastel pencils. Uh, I've laid uh, a bit of sky colour in here and uh, this distant background hill is uh, a mixture of 008, 719 and 149 and I'm just going to use my finger to blend those colours down just to give us a nice soft bit of background in the distance and I'm going to use the uh, 212 just to uh, lighten up some distant fields in the background <clears throat> blend that down using the fingers, pushing the colour down into the tooth of the paper. I'm going to bring in a distant hedgerow, quite small, and this is using 719, a lovely dark, dark green colour. And we'll have just on that way back there just some, some little bushes, distant trees, quite small. I'm using the pencil almost on its side so I'm using the side of the of the pastel and just uh, twiddling it round in some little circles when I'm a slightly larger tree just breaking that distant part of the hill there and just roughing up the top edge of that of that line to give the indication of some of a hedgerow the sunlight in this peak picture is coming from top right. I'm just going to darken the, the back or left hand sides of these uh, of these trees with a bit of 008. And then a little bit of uh, 017. Just a touch. Just working it around again in little circles. And one final colour I'm going to put into that is, uh, is a little bit of 712, which is a very pale, cool green. Just trying to pick out some small areas of foliage way back in the distance. Right, that'll do for that. I'm going to bring that field uh, forward again now. This is the 017. Slightly warmer green. that a little blend and then we can just run back over that again put a bit of texture on it if you want to just lightening it up this this again is the 712 these pastel pencils are so soft that uh, you can actually mix and blend colors with them they're so soft Okay, so slightly nearer a tree. I'm going to start off with the black, which is uh, 009. And we'll take a, a trunk and take our tree up to about here. So. I'm going to do the canopy part on the uh, top of the tree first. Now the trick with these uh, summer trees with lots of foliage on is to leave gaps so that you can show your, your branches and your trunks through the gaps. Otherwise you just end up with that, that solid green lollipop effect. 
So the sun coming from the top right, the, the left and the back left and the undersides of this foliage will be quite dark. So I'm just pressing a little harder on the, on the left and on the undersides. I'm just going to give that a little push in to try and fill in some of the, the holes in the texture of the paper. This is the Hanamulla Lana Colours pastel paper. 160 gram, 45% cotton, but not abrasive. It's just got a lovely, almost like a canvas. You can see that the texture here doesn't make your fingers sore. Available through the Moody Fuse website. Next colour, 719, lovely dark green, and I'm just starting outside of the black. But it's the same procedure, the, the flat of the pastel, or the point of the pastel laid almost flat, and just sort of twiddled around. I'm pressing fairly hard. You, what you'll notice I'm also doing every now and again is twisting the pencil. It starts, the point will pick up some of the black that's underneath of it. So if you just give it a little turn, a little twist, it just cleans that off and it gives you a fresh area to work to work with. And then we're going to go to 229. Same again, just starting outside of the previous colour. bit of 017 slightly warmer green I'm going to go to a piece of my uh, one of my pastels now. This is a Unison um, Yellow Green Earth 11 pastel, and I've got a flat edge there where I've actually worn it flat where I've used it before. I'm going to put it onto the paper completely flat, and just let it touch the top of the tooth, give it a slight movement to the side, and lift it off. And that puts those lovely little final touches of foliage onto the, uh, the top of what we've just put on. Now I'm going to go to the uh, 741 and just pick out a little highlight on the trunk, one or two branches. And back to the black one, 009. And then this is where we can show those uh, all those branches coming up through those gaps that we purposefully left. Okay, so that's that one done. Now we'll come across to the uh, to the other side. We'll just bring the uh, the foreground grass a little bit further forward again. Let's bring it through the gap. So I'm going to go back to my black zero zero nine. slightly larger with this one so pastel pencil almost on its side
nice dark area there. This foliage I'm putting in here, this black, is, is the foliage that's on the other side, on the back side of the tree. Which is uh, all in shadow. Give it a little push in, and that just pushes the, the black down into the, the texture of the paper to give us a more solid appearance. So the dark green, 719. So I'm leaving that area there black. I'm just going to put a bit of bit of green on the on the edges. So we'll go to the to the other green 229 which is the uh, sort of mid green. There it is. Try and envisage and envisage separate areas of of foliage. Think of it like a, a head of broccoli with all the uh, individual florets. Try and pick out separate areas and each one is separated by a dark so you go from light to mid green to dark don't forget to keep twisting that pencil Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of a highlight on that trunk now. So it's just going up through that, that dark area that I purposefully left. And then a nice bit of dark brown. This is 046. And I'm back to my black 009. And we'll start to pick out those, uh, those branches that we put in there. Just coming up now through these gaps that we left. So we're just uh, going to bring that, uh, that foreground grass colour forward, just using a bit of pastel. That was the uh, yellow green earth 11. This is uh, green 15. Right, just give those two colours a bit of a blend. I'm just going to put some